So Everton and Southampton come out. Taylor Harwood Bellis with the captain's armband this evening for Saints. The 22-year-old former England of the 21 captain leads the side in their yellow shirts, black shorts, yellow socks, and Alex McCarthy in the day-glow orange bright kit back between the sticks. Saints push out from the penalty area. Everton having a spell of pressure here. Ball into feet. Armstrong, the youngster, does well. Then it's played inside. Here he goes, Harrison Armstrong. A little ball in. Little dummies clever from Beto and the shot at the near post. Saved by the leg of Alex McCarthy, who knew what was coming and reacted really well because it was viciously hit by Beto from a narrow angle. And McCarthy had to put his foot out to be sure. Corner Everton. First real shot of any note in the game. Illiman and Die has it. The Marseille man gives it to Romain Dixon and the youngster again goes on the burst plays a good ball through cross from Lindstrom it's blocked and Harwood Bellis again the captain doing the blocking it's another corner to Everton on this near side there right 20th minute McNeil with this left foot from this right hand side will curl it in then and he hangs it right under the crossbar it's awkward from McCarthy got a hand on it Everton still might get it in and they have got it in and it is that man again Abdoulaye Decore. Well, Saints must be sick of the sight of him over the years because the 31-year-old has scored against them for Watford more than once. Now he's scored against them for Everton. And Abdoulaye Decore, close-range header, in past the near post. Everton just getting bodies into the six-yard area, heading the ball back in there. And Decore was the first to react. And in the 21st minute, it's Everton 1, Southampton 0. Everton won, Southampton nil, and Everton have robbed Saints again. And the ball played through, and the flag stayed down for the moment. Lindstrom fires it at McCarthy. And Sean Deitch can't believe it. I don't think the player missed on purpose, but it was a massive opportunity. 30 minutes gone, I literally can't move to get in there. There's people sat right behind me, so I'm in their way if I stand up. And I can't move in my seat as the ball goes through to Beto. And Harwood Bellis comes across, the shoulder to shoulder. Beto goes over, referee, I think, got that right. No penalty. And uh, this time, Ugachukwu plays it through for Fraser, and Saints might stretch Everton here. He tries to cross it. He's wiped out Fraser, and that should be a yellow card for Romain Dixon. And it's going to be a free kick, and he's left Fraser in a heap here. He got the cross in, and Dixon was off his feet. That's why he's been booked. Taylor and Fraser are over this for Saints in front of the Gladys Street end. Taylor crosses it. Back post, header down and 1-1. And Taylor Harwood Bellis, the captain on the night, has scored at the back post. And boy, has he enjoyed that. Great header, great delivery from Taylor. And the two Burnley boys combine to hurt the former Burnley boss. It's Everton 1, Saints 1. 56 <laughs> minute. 1-1 one, one still. <laughs> And then the ball play forward and now Saints are in trouble. Here is Lindstrom, it's his second great chance. And again, McCarthy foils him. This time brilliantly off his line, McCarthy spread himself in front of the Dane, made a spectacularly good save. And that keeps the scores level and Saints nearly undid all the good work they've put in in the opening minutes of this second half. Lindstrom, though, has fluffed his lines twice, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Fourth officials moaning at Russell Martin. He got booked on Saturday, of course, against Manchester United. Um, yeah, that was for the Jack Stevens uh, yeah, red card. Jack Stevens has been uh, reported to the FA. He's got a charge, which Saints have till Thursday to answer for uh, his verbals. And Fraser has it in the penalty area. Ball bats around, comes back to Ryan Fraser, tried to shoot from an impossibly narrow angle. Could he have pulled it back? We'd have to have another look, but he forced a save from Virginia. And Everton won a free kick again, and they're not getting it. And Decore wins it back off Aribo, just couldn't keep his balance. And Decore plays a rather dangerous ball, almost across the edge of his D, and Saints have been there to win it back, and Uga Chukwu plays a great ball to Fraser, and he's tackled by Keane, it comes off Fraser last, it's a goal kick. And Russell Martin is still aggrieved at the fourth official, Sean Dyche is aggrieved at the fourth official, basically, the fourth official's having a nightmare, Joe, he's got both managers in his ear. Everton have it again, the shot's going to come in, it deflects, balloons over into the Gladys Street end. Saints in danger of being their own worst enemies again. Good defending by Wood. Yeah. He's grown a bit, actually, as the game's gone on, hasn't he? But they've got to defend this. McNeil corner. It was his shot. Into the heart of the penalty area, and it's been headed over a foot over from, what, four yards out? That may well have been Tim Eric Bowen, who's just come on. Hard to see. I think it was. He's gone deep now to collect it, Mateus Fernandes. He plays brave, that is for sure. And then a good ball from Aribo, first time in field. There is... 
Uh, Bree playing in that advanced position again, Joe. I know he's playing as a right back, but it's just no, drifted just forward. He's doing the midfield thing. Yeah, but it's after the corner, thing. Adam. So it, yeah. it, this is not the midfield. Here's thing. Downs and Dibbling on the right wing. Oh, he's not Meg Dirabunum. Dibbling in the box, skips past another player, shoots. It was almost perfect. Over the bar, into the stand. Goal so, kick, Everton. So close. That was really close. Brilliant little nutmeg there, Adam, uh, on the substitute and, uh, and drives for drops his shoulder to the right and goes in on his left foot uh, and has a shot. But um, fortunately, it's just over the bar, isn't it? We have 20 seconds to go. Everton might get one last chance here. Young Dixon's flying. Sliding challenge from Brereton Diaz is good, but Everton have got a corner at the end of stoppage time and Russell Martin shakes his head and sits down. We don't need this late drama at this end of the pitch, that is for sure. The Gladys Street end will try and suck that ball in. And this is one last bit of defending for Saints to do, which will get them to that penalty shootout. Here comes McNeil's corner from the right, hangs in the air, good, strong header, and then away, and the volley comes in from Ashley Young, and there's no way McCarthy saves that if it goes to the right side of the post. Thankfully it doesn't, and that is it. We have a penalty shootout at Goodison Park between Everton and Southampton after a 1-1 draw for the second time in six years. Let's see if Fernandes can get Saints off to a good start. They're going first in the penalty shootout. That wasn't the case here six years ago. It's Fernandes against his compatriot, Jal Virginia. Portuguese on Portuguese. Right-footed it will be. Scores, top of the net, central. Virginia went to his left and Fernandes, cool as a cucumber, just smashed it. Very, very different type of player taking Everton's first penalty. It's Michael Keane. I'll tell you what, Joe. If he if he if he if he does the Penenka or something, I'll be amazed. Surely he's going to run up Michael Keane and smash the leather out of this. Let's see. McCarthy waits on his line and bounces. Keane scores. Sends in the wrong way. Low to McCarthy's right. McCarthy went to his left. Ross Stewart stands on the edge of the box. Virginia bounces. Stewart's not hesitating. I like that. Right footed. Hits it hard enough. Keeper went the right way. Saints two out of two. Stewart gets technically his first goal for Southampton. I'm very pleased for Ross Stewart. Now, left footed, this will be from McNeil. And he sends McCarthy the wrong way. Lovely kick. And it's 2 2. And we're four out of four at Goodison in the penalty shootout. This will do his confidence good as well. Up against Virginia. Brereton Diaz scores. Two, the goalkeeper's right, the goalie went left, and Brereton Diaz, a bit of frustration there, he smashes it back into the net the second time of asking, and Saints are three out of three, and here comes Iriman and Dai. McCarthy tries to make himself like an albatross with his arms out wide, and he scuffs it past him, and we're six out of six. Fourth penalty, going first, Southampton. Harwood Brennan is the captain, he scored once tonight, and he scores again. And he fist pumps the Saints fans, gets them up. He's loving that Howard Bellis. That's the frustration of the early season coming out. McCarthy waits. Lindstrom scores off the post. Oh, so close on missing. The wrong way. Here comes a rebo. Come on, Joe. Hold your nerve. It's the fifth one. Come on, Joe. Virginia goes the wrong way. Joe goes the right way. A rebo scores. OK, Jack Harrison, the former Leeds man. Last one. Oh, he scores as well. Tucked it beautifully into the right-hand corner as he looked inside the side netting, that hit. But James Bree did score a worldie against Cardiff. Now can he get a second goal in the League Cup by scoring a penalty? Bree sends him the wrong way and it's 6-5 to Southampton. And the perfect penalty shootout continues at Goodison Park. Good penalties from Southampton, good composure, yeah. good time. They take the Can time, you work don't out stress who's it. next for Saints? That's who I'm worried about. Who's next? Here comes Ashley Young. McCarthy saves it! Pushed it onto the post and it's out. And Saints have gone through again at Everton in the League Cup third round. Ashley Young sent off on the opening day here. Now misses a penalty in the League Cup shootout. And Southampton's players can celebrate on the pitch and away with their fans because they have knocked Everton out of the League Cup again on penalties here at Goodison.